Hey guys, it's Brian and Jeff. We're here with Blaze Bite. We were at the local tavern in Willoughby Hills, right off of Route 6. As you can see, they have a freaking chicken on their roof. I'm excited about this place. You know what else I'm excited about? Kevin Papish told us we needed to get scorecards for rating. So this is going to be the first time we use them. We'll see how they work out. Now it seems more like work. <laughs> you ready? All right, let's, let's go. go, guys. All right, we're at the local tavern. It's Brian, Jeff. We're gonna try some. Explain the flavors. All right, so this is a little different now uh, than your typical wing place here. We've got a they're really large, but they're they're breaded wings, and we have got the sauces on the side. So we sauce them ourselves. Yeah, we've got to sauce our own wings. At least, like, at least we don't have to cook them. <laughs> I feel like we're doing half the work. I agree. We should get half off, right? <laughs> All right, um, so what is this? So we've got sweet chili here. Mm -hmm. um, over here, we have blue flame, which is a blue cheese and a hot mix. That smells pretty good. Kind of excited about that. And then, you know, we followed our, uh, we did a bonus sauce. We have two other people here. So we did, um, we did, what's this one, Ben? F and Ranch. F and Ranch, and then F, F and hot. hot. So I'm going to say that again. Effin' Ranch and Effin' Hot. <laughs> so I'm excited. Oh, and I got rid of my beard because there was too much wing sauce getting in it. So I decided to shave that. Had nothing to do with calves losing? No, it had everything to do with the calves losing. Depressing. We so. have our scorecards. So right. we're going to actually get to keep score this time. This is official. Yes. All right, I'm it's really so one. that after we have these, we can remember what our score was. <laughs> All right, here, Brian, you want one? I need I need several probably right. All right. Let's uh. Don't look. Oh, Don't yeah. cheat. I need yeah. a pen. I'll be looking at my ratings. All right. My name is Jeff. You realize these pens are gonna get sauce all over them. Oh, for sure. Flavor is. We're gonna try the sweet chili first. Sweet chili. Local tavern. Cool. All right, you ready? Yep, this pan got in the way. All right, here we go. So, are we gonna, we're only not revealing our last score? Correct. The like Google reveal these other ones, right? Yes, and then okay. we, at the end, we flip it over. All I right. think, we'll see how it goes. All right, so the first thing is the size. These I would are, give them, and these are pretty big. I agree. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab our wing first. Yep, cheers. So, cheers, those are, those are pretty big wings. We'll dip it, I'm gonna or we'll dip sauce mine. it. Do you roll it? I feel like I'm, I'm gonna roll it. I'm rolling mine. This is hard. Like I feel like I should get my own bowl to sauce them in, right? Yes. What do you think? Like yeah. just we'll shake each... them up in. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna give a size. Oh, we don't have to do that. I'm gonna write mine. Down How many? Though. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna reveal our size later. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Can we do decimals? <laughs> oh, for sure, decimals. Okay. So just go down the line then, right? Well, I don't know the flavor. Oh yeah, sauce and flavor. All right, but I feel like this is where we're getting too. Like the flavor might be good, but they weren't they weren't sauced already, so we can't even complain about them not being sauced because that's not what they're supposed but, to do. Uh, yeah, but it's the flavor and the sauce. All right, well, cheers. Cheers. Oh wow, they're crispy. Bread it. They're breaded. A lot of breading. I don't usually like breading. But I think because it's making it so crispy, I think that's what's giving it that crisp. I think I'd be a bad cook. I didn't sauce mine enough. So, it's definitely a sweet, it's a very, even though it has chili in it, it's not hot at all. It's a very mild, sweet sauce. There's a, a tiny kick. You're right. The sauce, I think, gets absorbed with, um, mm -hmm. with the breading. I think that's why they don't sauce them. They stay crispy. Point. You know what? Also, I taste like the breading is seasoned. So I think I think they put some special seasoning in this breading. I bet this would taste good even without the sauce. The sauce. I is, agree. I like this sauce a lot, but I bet you if you're a plain person and you don't even like sauce, 
you'd really enjoy these wings because of the flavor with the breading. Yeah, I think I think what I'm going to do is though I'm going to dock some points because I have to sauce it myself. I don't know. That's just weird to me. She offered to sauce them for you. She did, so they they will do that for you. But I wanted to, however they normally do it, I wanted to make sure that we, you know, partake in their average wing. So, all right, I'm, I'm, I think I've got an idea on the sauce. Don't look. I won't. Don't look at mine. Is he cheating? I can look at his because I already wrote mine down. So I'll start to review this while he's still writing his numbers. For size, I gave it a 7.2. I thought it was rather large. What did you give it? I gave it an 8.5 for size. Okay. Um, flavor, what did you give that? A 6.1. Okay, I gave it a 6.8. I really like that sweet flavor. I do. I like the sauce. I just I gave it. A, I docked it because I had to sauce my own wings. Okay. What about the crispiness? That was a nine. I gave it a nine point two. I think yeah. that's the crispiest wing we've had. That was. I think it's because of the breading. Well, yeah. And heat level. Two. Two. What's your overall score? Six point three. I gave it a seven point two. Wow. Well, that's pretty. Right. Pretty far off. So we're gonna put this one. Put them off to the side. We'll yep. hand these to Ben. Ben, you look like bored over there. Well, All right. Ben. Grab a French oh, yeah. fry. Oh, yeah. your palate. palate. I'm going to do this big one. Look at this thing. Oh, look at that. Those are big French fries. They look seasoned well. They've too. got this weird mayonnaise, aioli, balsamic dipping sauce. It's not bad. It's different. Yeah. Oops. Not for everyone. All right. Now, I think it's going to be simpler. Cheers. I think it's going to be simpler if we just move the sauces instead of moving the wings. Oh no, we got to keep this official. I'm going to make us keep this official. So now we have buffalo. What is this called? Blue. Yeah, this is blue flame. Blue flame. So it's like a hot buffalo, basically. So right off the bat, this is what they told us was a medium wing. So we we have a mild, which was the first one. This is more like a medium. Not medium size. Look at that thing. All right. Okay. You ready? Oh, I gotta fill my name on stuff. Jeez. I feel like I'm taking a test. You got these in Scantron? <laughs> all right. You're right. These are all large wings again. Do you think they, they're larger because of the breading? I don't know. I mean, even if you didn't have breading on those, those are definitely. I agree, the breading adds some size, especially because it's so crispy, but I don't think it's enough to make it from a small wing to a large. That's for sure. I'm going to go with the with the leg again. Look at this thing. I mean, Jesus. I almost feel like I'm eating a whole-size chicken wing at KFC. <laughs> Extra, Extra crispy. crispy. <laughs> I'm trying to sauce it properly here. It's hard to get wanna, the end when you do these. I it's agree. almost like you got to take this and then dip it that way. I think Ben had it down. Like he was experienced. He poured the sauce on top of the wing. Uh, I think I might have to try that. This is this wasn't his first rodeo. He recommended this place. So thanks, Ben. Welcome. Is there hints of blue cheese in there? It's like an explosion in my mouth. This is like all kinds of flavors going on. And it's got a little kick to it. Yeah. It's more buffalo than blue cheese. It's got a lot of good flavor to it. Yeah. I, I like this one a lot. I gotta just close. I'm not a really big fan of blue cheese. <laughs> yeah, they give you sauces to the side. I'll take ranch over blue cheese. I actually enjoy this one a lot. Me too. Finger looking good. <laughs> Extra crispy. So, obviously the size is still the same, right? Mm -hmm. And the crispiness hasn't changed. I'm going to cheat. I, I'm pretty sure I did a 7.2 and a 9.2. I'm thinking more because of this. 
Yeah, this is really messing with me, and I'm trying to think of what I gave the other ones. You gonna show us, Ben? Just double check. I mean, they all gotta be the same, because they're all cooked the same. So the crispiness has to be the same. And I feel like the size has to be the same, too. Because they're all the same size. So really, the only thing that changes is the flavor sauce and the heat level. Yep. All right. I can't believe I'm going to do this. You went with an 8.9, I went with the 7.0. Yeah. So, the size crispiness is the same. The heat level was higher, which I liked. But I gave the flavor of the sauce a little bit lower at a 6.6. So, so I you gave, didn't like the sauce that much? I, I, at first I was like, wow, that's pretty good. And then I started tasting more and more blue cheese. And I'm, I'm not a huge fan of blue cheese. I don't like blue cheese either. I love that. But, yeah. so I, I gave My it mouth's still tingly from it. Yeah, I thought it had good kick. What would you give the kick? Uh, eight and a half. You gave that eight and a half? Well, Did as far you? as hot, right? Yeah, I didn't think it was that hot. Cool. So, what's your favorite? When you say heat level from one to ten, what's your perfect heat level? Yeah, I guess I guess I could have, as far as like hot ten being like I can't even eat them. Yep. Then they would probably have been lower, because okay. I would just I like the heat level. That's why I gave it eight and a half. Okay. It's good practice. All right. Let's uh. Here you go, Ben. There you go, Ben. All right. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. Cleanse the palate. All right, what's the next sauce? Two. Oh, yeah, two. Bonus sauce. Here we go, bonus sauce. I'm going to take this one. Okay, I'm going right. to go with the one. So flat. we're doing F and Ranch first. And then I will disclose that one when we're ready to. F and do it. Ranch. I'm gonna, oh, we forgot to pour it. Oh yeah, we'll do that on the <laughs> we'll do that on the effing hot. You know what's good though? Maybe like waste less sauce because I'm never gonna eat that part. There's no reason for it to be sauced. That's true. All so, right, I think Ben's onto something here. Cheers. Cheers. This is the ranch? Yeah. Do you taste any ranch? It's like a weird taste. I, I taste a lot of seasoning. They said that it's a homemade ranch though, uh, right? Okay. So this yeah. is their homemade sauce and or their homemade hot and their homemade ranch. So that's why it doesn't taste like a typical ranch. Mm -hmm. Which I don't usually love ranch, but I think this is this is a great ranch sauce. I think both of the thing that this has in common with the blue flame is it's more hot than it is blue or more hot than it is ranch. There's a lot of other places we reviewed. They had more, you know, whatever, if it was ranch, buffalo was ranch, ranch. It was mostly ranch with a little bit of buffalo. I would say this is a great very flavor. similar in, in hotness. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's, you think it's, it's a similar. Little it's a similar. Now the waitress described this that one's as hotter. Mine. Oh, I already fine. cheated and put my uh, my size down and my uh, crispiness. What did I do that? <laughs> All right. Brian likes his wings a lot. I would have never 8. thought they're, they're breaded too. Yeah, I think they're good. I think this one had more kick. I, I bumped it up to a 4.1. I think the sauce was a little bit better, and that's why I bumped my overall flavor on this to 7.8. Wow. Yeah, I, I didn't leave a lot of room to go up. And I felt it was slightly better on the heat level, and I left the, the sauce the same, because I felt like 
it, they were interchangeable. Like that just had ranch and that had blue cheese. I thought this one was better. I don't like blue cheese. I don't either, but I didn't really taste the blue cheese. It was just creamy hot sauce to me. Yep. Cool. Oh, I forgot to, you didn't mark your flavor or your name. You can't I, turn your test I without just, your name I could just smell it. <laughs> <laughs> this was called effin' ranch. You didn't even put the restaurant. Like, you put... You I know F where we're N, at. You didn't even spell it right. You didn't put your name. You gotta quit drinking so much when you do these wing reviews, man. All right. Now, so... What are you gonna do for this one? We're gonna, gonna pour, pour it. Sauce. All right. I'm gonna move these over here. I just yeah. grabbed one from this thing. I'm gonna grab a new one, because if I pour this on here... I didn't want it to mix. That's why I moved these over. Yeah. I'll, I'll do mine. You grab your wing. I'll do this. I'm gonna go with this one. So this is this is by recommendation of Ben here. Just pour your sauce on. Now this one's supposed to be pretty hot. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to pour on the other side too. I don't know if I'm liking the pouring on. I don't know if that was any easier. What do you think? I think it was easier to dip it. I agree. Ben doesn't know what he's talking about, but he's on the phone, so he can't hear us. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. He'll only know if he watches the video. <laughs> All right, oh, you ready? I cheated. I licked my finger. That's not good. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I spilled on my scorecard. Starts off sweet. And then the, you, you get some kick. I don't know what to say. I mean, I just taste hot flavor. You didn't get the sweet when you first bit into it? Yeah. A little bit. I thought it was going to be hotter. Yeah. I don't Because it said a... effing hot, and it's effing medium? <laughs> <laughs> I like the sweet at first, but then I was waiting for some kick or some something else, and I feel like it's missing something. I'm waiting for the residual. I feel a little more kick at the end. So that you know, five is an average wing, too, when we're doing these ratings. So, and ten is the best wing that we've ever had. So, that that's kind of how we rank these. And I put that all into. Oh, shouldn't be saying any of this stuff until Brian puts his numbers down. He's, he's always been slow. I think in college we took a wine tasting class together, and he was always the last one to hand in his paper. I take my wing rating very seriously. I said, you didn't even fill your top half out, and you're complaining about me? I said, hot. All right. So what'd you think of the flavor? What'd you rate it? Flavor 7.8. I gave it a 4.2. Really? Yeah, I, when I first bit it, I was excited because of the sweetness, and then the afterwards I didn't get anything I was expecting more flavor yeah I agree with you there um, the heat level I give it 3.8 really I don't think it was that hot you don't think it was hotter than the other ones no oh, I, thought, it I was thought the last one was hotter. hotter I thought it was slightly hotter than the other ones I gave this one an overall a 6.1 this was my lowest rating here but I gave it a 8.8 for heatness level and I gave it a 7.8 for flavor sauce it's a hot wing Tastes like a little bit sweet, but more hot than sweet. I give it 8.7. Cool. I, I guess, you know, Kevin was right. Putting yeah, these writing on, it down. Yeah, writing it down, are, maybe we do go off of each other a little bit, and I think it's good yeah. that, that we do write this type of stuff down. Um, all right. Thanks for watching today's episode. If you haven't liked us on Facebook, please do so. Follow us on Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Anything else? No. All right. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Blaze bite.